is going on folks we are running up to the machine shop I got a call yesterday when I was on a mobile job that my heads were all finished up so we're gonna go scoop these guys I'm probably gonna grab some head bolts from the machine shop too because the guy said that he may have some in stock so hopefully he does uh, I'll grab the head bolts and we just got to source a marine whoa marine gasket set and from there we just gotta start cleaning up the block and getting ready to reassemble uh, the heads so uh, we're pulling up now give me one second all righty okay we made it back to the shop guys just unloaded the heads they are all prettied up here ready to rock and roll i was able to Grab some head bolts from the machine shop also. They had a couple kits laying around, so I've got that. Got the hardware there for the heads. Now I'm waiting on my marine gaskets. I literally just ordered a set off of line. Hopefully those will show by Saturday so we can get everything uh, all together. I also uh, dropped off my uh, carburetor yesterday while I was on uh, that mobile job. I took a short little video, so you guys will see that real quick. We're here at National Carb and they are getting the old water jet knocked out for me there. So she's here for a little bit of love. Get that knocked out, I'm heading up back to the job site. So while the carburetor's getting its uh, rebuild work done, I'm going to strip down this intake manifold also, shoot this over to the powder coater so that way he can sandblast it and clean it up for me and just put you know, a nice coat of silver or something on there. I'm not looking for anything in particular. I just don't want it looking all crusty and nasty looking like it does now and then i also need to order some hydraulic lifters i'm going to need to grab a set of those so hopefully i can get that squared away and we can get this engine reassembled or start reassembling this weekend it is the weekend it's saturday and my felpro marine gas kit has shown up if i can get this freaking box open i'll be able to get the parts out of here felpro marine sweet anything else in here I know Amazon is be using oversized boxes for this fucking reason. Cool. All right, so this kit is 17220. This is for Merc Cruiser small block Chevy 305, 228 horsepower. I want to say the newer models because mine is a 1983. This is the part number I want to say for the 81 to 84. I could be correct, or incorrect on that. Don't quote me, but there is a difference between um obviously the old small block style and then the vortex style then you've got your perimeter style valve cover gaskets and your center bolt uh, style gaskets so this one comes with the perimeter style you guys can see here we've got two cylinder head gaskets two intake manifold gaskets the end seals for the intake manifold the exhaust manifold gaskets valve cover gaskets my dogs are probably barking at somebody walking by i apologize valve stem seals i don't need those because the machine shop did that and then the distributor mounting gasket I do need one of those. So this is the uh, gasket set that I was waiting on. So tomorrow, hopefully, that's Sunday, we can get out there bright and early and get this stuff installed. Good morning, guys. We're out here on this lovely Sunday morning. Hopefully it does not rain on us. Go ahead and get this boat cover pulled off and we'll start getting this guy thrown together. I apologize about my lens fogging up there. Went from the air conditioning to the nice Florida humid heat. Get this guy pulled off and get to working on old girl. So I've been at it for about an hour now, getting everything cleaned up. I've got the uh, cylinder head surfaces all cleaned up here on the block on both sides. I'm going to grab my flex hone tool. Got a flex hone there. I'm going to go through each cylinder and uh, clean them out real quick. I put a little bit of uh, penetrating oil inside the cylinders while the motor sat just to you know, be safe. Don't let any moisture build up on there. So I'm going to go back behind that, clean that up real quick. And then from there, we'll go ahead and get the uh, head gaskets prepped, get some copper spray on them, and get those guys installed. All right, guys, so the rain slowed us down a little bit. I was able to get everything cleaned up here on the surfaces. I took an old head bolt here 
notched it out and used that as kind of like a, uh, not really a tap, but just a unit to clean out the threads in each head bolt. Went through each one of those, got those guys cleaned out, and then uh, went back behind the uh, head surface with just a little bit of scotch bright and cleaned that surface up. So now I'm just kind of playing the waiting game, hoping that this uh, rain, or these rain clouds will pass just a little bit. And then from there, we can go ahead and slap these head gaskets on and uh, get these heads installed. Guys, it's not looking so good. Ran into a uh, little bit of an issue. Um, turning over the bottom end of this thing, it just doesn't sound good, guys. It just does not sound good at all. I'm gonna throw a video in real quick so you guys can hear this. As you guys heard in that little cell phone video there, for some odd reason, it seems like this rear cylinder, or maybe this cylinder here, once it reaches uh, down on the lower end of its stroke, it just binds up, and it, as you guys heard, it does not sound healthy. Um, as you crank on the uh, uh, ratchet, and as it comes up, it kind of gets really stiff, and then it breaks free, like thump, and you know, it turns just fine, as you guys heard. And yeah, I don't know. It, it does not have me feeling much, excuse me, it doesn't have me feeling very confident um, just with the condition, you know, of how long this engine's been sitting. It's, it's really unknown. It's hard to trust people's words nowadays. And on top of that, I was giving the guy updates about the boat and he blocked me because I guess that's the world we live in. He literally asked me, hey bud, why don't you go ahead and add, add me on Facebook and keep me in the loop. So I was literally updating him and he was like, keep messaging me, man, I'm just blocking you. And he blocked me. I was like, oh, wow. So I don't trust his word. It is what it is. We're just going to go ahead and get this thing yanked out tomorrow. So I'm hoping my buddy uh, down at uh, Precision Point Marine, um, he's going to give me a hand. I'm hoping with the forklift, uh, just throw a chain on this guy. I'm going to go ahead and break these engine bolts loose real quick. There's just one, two, and then uh, two in the back. All those guys have to come out and the engine can get lift up, swung forward and out of our way. I already had, went ahead and removed uh, all the grounds on the back side here. I removed the ground over here. That's all good. So uh, other than that, guys, it's, uh, it's coming out. We're going down the rabbit hole. Well, all right, guys, they weren't playing when they said, uh, you know what boat means, bust out another thousand. Well, we're going to be busting out a few thousands. Uh, we're going down the rabbit hole, folks. We're going down the rabbit hole. Unfortunately, it's not what I wanted to do. I'm just not feeling very confident about that sound in this engine, and I'd rather be safe than sorry, especially out in the water. It's not like you can just pull off the side of the road and be like, hey, I broke down, somebody help me. You know, we'll be stuck in the middle of the freaking river, and I don't want to deal with that. So, Scott just messaged me back from Precision Point Marine. He said, I'm cool to use the forklift tomorrow. So, what I'm going to do real quick, you've got two front bolts right here. I'm gonna get these guys loosened up right quick and I'm gonna loosen up the rear ones uh, so that way they're just ready to go for tomorrow. That way I don't have to waste my time. I've already went ahead and disconnected all of the grounds. Let me just flip this thing around. So all the grounds back here, the grounds here, the ground on that stud back there, and then that lower ground down here. I've got all of that removed. Uh, I got the lines pulled off. These are the large bolts here that need to be broken free. And then you can see back there, there's one, there's the other. Those guys just need to be pulled, and then we'll hook up a chain to either one of these head bolts and uh, yank this guy out. So that's going to be the game plan with that. Um, I'll strip her down to a bare block, see how the crank looks, see how the cylinders look, and then that'll be my deciding factor on what I, what I want to do, whether I'll send it to the machine shop um, to get hot tanked, line board, um, you know, polish the crank. If it looks good, everything's cool, and it ends up just being a little issue with that cylinder, and if it's not pitted too bad, then I'm just going to take a flex hone tool with the you know, pistons out of there, flex hone it myself, and uh, that should give me you know, another couple of years with this unit. And uh, I'll slap new rings on there, some standard size bearings, and uh, we'll call it a day and get to ripping. So that's really it, guys. We are opening another can of worms, another project.
The inside of my shop looks like a freaking Merc Cruiser 305 went off in here. Because it freaking did. Got junk everywhere, but... Alright guys, let me shut up now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to start filming tomorrow. I'm obviously load up the boat and uh, shoot on down there. I'm doing a mobile job down there anyways. So it works out nicely, or at least on that side of town. So hopefully after that, I can shoot over to his shop and then I'll film us yanking this engine out and slapping it in the back of a Dodge and then going down this rabbit hole. <laughs> Damn it, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next upload. That's that. Later.